Hi everyone and welcome to another Zombie Side Invader video. My name is Mike and this time I'll be speed painting the Xeno workers. This speed paint video will be a little bit different as I'm trying out contrast paints for the first time. At the end of the video I'll show you how to get the same paint job without contrast paints and do a comparison of how long each one took. Right now I'm using Basilicanum Grey over the entire body and I'm deliberately trying to avoid hitting any of the tentacles. I didn't use any of the special contrast paint primers on these guys, just regular Corax White. And since these are a paint and a wash, the only way to touch up mistakes is to reuse the primer color over the mistake. Unfortunately, there is no Corax White brush on paint, but Althuan Grey is a very close match. The next color I'm using is Fire Slayer Flesh over all of the tentacles. So a couple tips when using this stuff, make sure you don't miss any spots or you'll get tide marks if you try to retouch the paint later. Try to find any spots you missed while the contrast paint is still wet. After you're sure everything is covered, use a damp brush to soak up excess pooling of the paint. There's some places on a miniature where a lot of the paint is going to collect and you don't want that turning into a big dark spot. This stuff dries fairly slowly, so after all the minis were painted, I gave them 30 minutes to dry. If you're doing these in a production line style paint job, then I'd start with one color and use that on all the models first. By the time you finish the last one, the first one should be dry. So that's the majority of the work done. I wanted a few extra details though, so I'm going to mix up a bright pink color with some Screamer Pink and Midland Flesh. I'm adding this to all the little nodes sticking out of the arms and legs of the Xenos. I'm also using this same color to trace around all of the large pores on the body. There's two on the shoulders, four on the back, and four on top of the head. And finally, I'm going to lightly brush along the double line down the center of the torso. Next I'm switching to Vallejo's Ivory and I'm going to put a small dab of paint on the teeth. I did not do this to all the models, just the ones that had teeth that were very clearly visible. Now I'm going to mix together equal amounts of Cygnus Yellow and Moot Green to do the eyes. Just one small dab in the center of each to make them stand out. The next part is of course optional, but I wanted to give the Xenos an interesting base. This one is a fairly simple one, it takes about 3-4 to four minutes per model. I'm starting off by covering the entire base with a layer of Vallejo Brown Earth. I also have some Martian Iron Crust, but that looked a bit redder than I wanted for these. And while the earth texture is still fresh, I'm sticking in a few small rocks. After the earth texture has completely hardened, I'm painting all of the rocks with rough iron from Army Painter. Next I'm completely covering the base with Reichland Flesh Shade to give the soil a slightly more reddish tint and to add some depth. And it doesn't matter if you get some of this on the rocks. And the last step for this Martian looking terrain is a quick dry brush with some Baylor Brown. And finally just paint the rim of the base with a color of your choice. Here I'm using German Grey. Once that's all done, make sure to spray your models with a matte varnish. So here is how they're looking with an average paint time of 14 minutes each. And that includes the base, but not the drying time between paints. So how does this compare to a normal paint job with no contrast paints? And what kind of difference are you looking at with a normal paint job in terms of time needed and quality? I'm only going to show you the steps that were different and then fast forward to show you the side by side comparison. So first off, we need to base coat the model with a darker gray to match. So I'm covering this one with Dawnstone. After that, I'm giving it a wash with Nuln Oil to show all the details in the model and shade the recesses. For the tentacles, I'm first base coating the tentacles with Midland Flesh, and then I'll give it a wash with Reichland Flesh Shade. Now in order to have the colors match a little better, I had to go back and highlight a little bit, but I only highlighted the skin. I did this using some thin down Dawn Stone and White mixed 2 to 1. All of my highlights were focused on the thighs, the shoulders, the face, and the chest. So I'll say now that the quote unquote normal paints required 30 minutes to paint one model, though if there's a Dawnstone primer, that would have sped things up a lot. 
Here they are side by side, the one on the left painted with normal paint, the one on the right painted with contrast paints. As you can see, the normal paint looks a little bit smoother, the contrast paint a bit grittier. However, is there enough of a difference to warrant doubling your painting time and buying extra paints? Well, that's up to you. That's the end of this video, I hope you liked it. Thank you very much to everyone supporting me on Patreon, and a special thanks to Brian Jones for sponsoring the channel. Let me know in the comments what your experience has been with contrast paints, whether you like them or not, and whether you would like to see me use them or not. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more Invader videos, and thanks for watching.